Yo, what's up YouTube? And today we're going to talk about nighttime uh, raids in Tarkov. First of all, I'll tell you and show you which uh, post effects I use. I don't tend to play with the usual uh, green night vision because I think this is really irritating for your eyes. I tend to swap it to the gray one, so I'll show you how to do that. And secondly, we're going to talk about the sites and uh, which sites to use at the nighttime because uh, some of the sites work way worse than the others, so I'll compare them and show you which ones to use. Alright, what's the first thing we're gonna do when we spawn? First of all, I'm gonna change my post of X from my daytime to my nighttime one. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, the main thing is to use either either olive or feather color grading. I personally prefer olive because it makes the game look a bit smoother than the feather one and is better for the shim because uh, of less pixelation. So we select olive and we max it out as well as we completely decrease the brightness. I think with these settings, uh, nighttime with night vision looks the best. And now let's get into the phase of testing sites. I think first of all, after I finish filming this video, I'll show you only good sites first, and then I'll show you the bad ones. So I don't wanna waste your time too much, so you're gonna see the good ones first, and then if you want to, if you want to keep watching the video, you can see the bad ones. I think there is only one thing which will determine how good the site is for the nighttime, and it is literally the brightness of the reticle, and uh, if it's way too bright and it takes a huge amount of your screen, or it's not. And for this site, I think reticle is pretty small, so I would say the site is decent. This is the um, Holosun site. Yeah. Next site is Delta Point. I think Delta Point is a really good site for nighttime, if not the best one. There is absolutely no shining whatsoever. You get a really good uh, FOV and the site is very clean. The only disadvantage is that sometimes people get confused on where to aim. Does the bullet go to the top of the triangle or the bottom or the middle? And the answer is you need to aim with the middle of the triangle. That's exactly where the bullet is gonna go. So if you do use this site, aim at the middle of the triangle. Next site is the Pixel one. Hmm. So if we use the stripes or whatever you call it, I think it's way too shiny, but if you like it using in adult mode only, I think it's decent, yeah. I think that's a good site for the nighttime. Trichcon RMR, same as uh, Delta Point, really decent, good choice. Cobra Site, a good alternative to PK06 nowadays. Looks decent, not too shiny. Uh, maybe depends on the reticle. Yeah, I would play only with the dot. If you do like playing with the dot, I would say that's a good side. Aim point T1. Very clean, very small dot. Lovely. Good side. PK120. Ooh, it's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be very shiny, but it looks really clean. I like it. Good side. Valdai Kretchat. Clean, smooth. I like it. Good side. MRS. That is alright. This one is too fat. Blurry. No. Mmm. So-so. Something in the middle. SRS2. Clean dot. I like it. Good sight. Aimpoint Pro. Clean. Small dot. Sharp. I like it. Good sight. A cock sight. Um, overall not too bad. It's not very shiny. Right now, after the patch, there is a small glitch. Most of the zoomed sites are um, either blurry, but BG fixed it recently, or they are very dark, so we shouldn't really look at the darkness of the picture, because in reality it would be brighter. Um, and yeah, the actual site is uh, decent in my opinion. Elcon. Pretty decent, not too shiny. You can also use uh, iron sites if you want to, no issues with this whatsoever. I would say that's a decent choice. Compact Prism. Ooh, very crispy, very sharp. I like it. That's a fat yes for me. Hammer with Delta Point up top. It doesn't look too bad. It's a bit too bright for my liking, but it's not blurry. Uh, and Delta Point up top comes in very handy. So I would say that's a decent size for you to use. Bravo 4. A bit too fat, but it's not too shiny. It's not blurry. I would say that's not the worst selection. That's not the worst choice. Next site is uh, Vulcan. It's a night site, so we don't use night vision while playing with this site. 
and it looks pretty decent for a cheap night vision sight. Some people do like it. I personally prefer playing with night vision, uh, so I don't have to ADS in order to see what's happening. Voodoo sight. Very clean, very sharp, not too fat, not shiny. Probably the best sight for nighttime if you like to have some zoom, if you like to play at range, maybe sniping rogues. Definitely the best sight for the nighttime. 100%. Burris sight. Mm, I don't like it too much. I guess it's not the worst choice, but it, it looks a bit flickery and blurry. I don't like it personally. I wouldn't say that's a good sight. The next sight for testing is uh, XPS3. Uh, there are two versions, 0 and 2. Zero 01 has one dot and 2 has two dots. This is my favorite sight to use during daytime. However, I think it shines way too much during night. When you aim at somebody at nighttime, it looks very disturbing, and I think that's a bad sight for nighttime. All right, next sight is uh, the hybrid EOTech. It doesn't look too bad in this mode, but if we try to zoom in, it just looks horrible. Yep, that's a no-no. EOTAC 553, and that's a clear no-no. Um, this is a new side, uh, Acro Aimpoint. It doesn't look too bad, but the, the, the FOV of this side, I don't know, does anybody play with this side? Uh, please tell me down in the comments below if you, if, you, if you hate yourself and you play with this side. Jesus, man. UH1, an alien looking sight. Way too blurry, way too shiny. That's a no no for the nighttime. U2G reflex sight. Way too fat, way too blurry. That's a no no. Valdai. It looks pretty clean and pretty sharp. I'm not sure if it's a decent choice for the nighttime because if you aim at dark areas, due to the fact that the actual sight uh, mesh is black, you might not be able to see um, well where you're aiming at. So, not really. I would not recommend playing with this one. Prism Sight. And that's a fat no from me. Way too shiny. Razor Sight. Very clean, no issues. However, another problem is that uh, the dot in the middle is very, very small. And sometimes you will not be able to see where you're aiming, where you're shooting. That might confuse you a little bit, so... I'm not gonna say this is the best side. I, I personally don't like it. You can play with it if you want, it's not the worst choice, but I don't like it. Duck 30. Way too shiny, the fat outline shines way too much. Um, yep, I would say this is unusable. Um, clearly, clearly a fat no. And this is it more or less. If you're still confused which sides to use at nighttime, I would say use one of these two sides. Either Delta Point for very close range, uh, if you play like me, if you like close range, Delta Point. And if you like to get some range and engage people or scavs or rogues at a longer distance, use Voodoo Side. So those two sides are a must. And yeah, I hope from now on uh, more people will be using good sides on nighttime. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.